We're in the home stretch, folks. But before we get to our last session, we wanted to give our customers a chance to share how texting has impacted each of their businesses. Hearing from all of you is absolutely our favorite thing at ZipWhip. And we hope that watching these inspires you just as much as it inspires us to keep developing a product that's changing the way businesses communicate with their customers. Now let's take a look at what some of you have had to say about ZipWhip and what you love most about texting. I don't, I don't text. <laughs> I, I, I don't text. Uh, three years ago or three and a half years ago, I had never sent a text in my life. I now have a dedicated monitor just for ZipWhip because we there are just so many ZipWhips that come in during the day. We use it for photo updates when their pet's staying with us. We send them photos of how their pet's doing. Um, if maybe their pet's not feeling well, we send those updates to reassure them that they're doing okay. And here was the light bulb moment for ZipWhip. And this happened two carathons ago. And I was just getting familiar with the technology. And what happened is during our carathon, the phone lines just, they were busy, they were full. As soon as someone hang up, I mean, it was full again. So people were not able to call in to make their donations. So out of the blue, we just said, you know what, text your donation. So people started doing that, which was, it was a huge success. The most useful features is to do appointment confirmations. Because as an attorney, you're selling your skill, your knowledge base, but you're selling it in a particular time frame. So if somebody isn't going to keep the appointment, that's a big loss for us because we can't sell that time to somebody else if they're just a no-show. And with using ZipWhip, prior to that, I'd say we had about one to two no-shows a month. Now we're down to about three or four a year. So there was a case of COVID at one of my clients' um, facility. So I needed to reach uh, all of those 44, 45 people all at once to let them know not to come to work anymore, to get tested, and to let me know about the status of the testing. So sending that mass, te mass texting to everybody did help quite a bit. You know, we can literally have someone, you know, text us for information about the school, send them that information, um, get them to set up a lesson, accept their payment, and basically all from ZipWhip. So it's like, we're, we're sort of tying, you know, three or four things together into one app. And it's been just like, you know, we've, I've done that, especially since we integrated the payments. I think we, we did that two or three months ago. And it's just made things so much more um, streamlined. ZipWhip is something that is surprises us every day with how we utilize it with reaching out to people. There's people that, you know, we've been contacting 20 plus times just because they reached out to us initially and they haven't answered um, calls or emails. But then one of the texts we send, whether it's like funny or informational, they'll all of a sudden respond and we'll make that instant connection. And that instant connection can change someone's lives forever. I know those videos weren't about me, but they still give me the warm fuzzies. Thank you to all those customers for sharing their love of texting with us at Context. Now, before I cut to James, one of our co-founders for our closing keynote, I wanted to do a quick call out to all of you who aren't yet ZipWhip customers, but are ready to start transforming your customer engagement. Simply text START to 430-CONTEXT or 430-266-8398 and we'll point you in the right direction. Okay, it's time for the final event, the future of texting with James Lapick, ZipWhip's chief technology officer and co-founder. By now you've learned just how powerful texting is and the many ways you can use it to connect with customers. But looking to the future, what do we need to do to make sure it continues to be our highest priority communications medium? James will tell you about what we're doing at ZipWhip to make sure your texts continue to be seen, responded to, and prioritized by customers. Take it away, James. Hey, everybody. 
I'm so excited to get a chance to speak to you today and close out our first ever ZipWhip Customer Summit context. My name is James Lapick, and I'm ZipWhip's CTO or Chief Technology Officer. I co-founded ZipWhip and have been here since the early days before we text enabled a single landline. To think that now in 2020, we're sitting here with hundreds of our customers from across the country, we've come a long way and I am incredibly proud and excited to be here. Over the course of two days, you've heard from lots of folks from our team and gotten the opportunity to meet other businesses just like yours who are implementing texting with their customers. You heard our CEO, John Lauer, explain how we form this industry and why texting remains so powerful. You also heard from Courtney, our top 10 texting best practices, and you got to hear from Jamal about how to move to the next step and up-level your SMS strategy. You also got to hear from customers of ours like the Detroit Tigers, Lash Lounge, and Nine Round. You know that texting offers the key values unlike any other mediums. It gets an instant response. It's efficient for your team, and it is what your customers prefer. Because of these key values, business texting has been taking a hold across the country. ZipWhip is seeing explosive record growth with billions of texts going over our network every single month. Just as we've seen this growth in texting, we've also seen an increase in the number of bad actors attempting to exploit the medium. ZipWhip not only created this industry, but we're the company that the carriers trust most to help protect the medium. Because we're hyper-focused on texting as our business, that's exactly what we're doing. Here, you can see the growth in fraud and spam attempts on our network. But what exactly is the difference between spam and fraud? Well, texting spam is any content that you didn't want to receive or didn't sign up for. ZipWhip helps give consumers control of all their messaging and allows for you to reply stop to any message and all future texts from that sender will be blocked. Fraud, on the other hand, is a bad actor who's trying to exploit you and steal either your personal information or your money. So fraud and spam attempts are increasing. That's clearly a problem for consumers, but why is that a problem for you as a business? Well, spam and fraud threaten the legitimacy of the texting medium. Your customers actually read and respond to your text because it's a high priority medium and one where they have a manageable number of messages coming in. But if consumers become inundated with spam and fraud, texting will go the way of email. Do you remember when email first came out? You only used it to communicate with family and friends. You were probably excited to hear the sound of a new message. You've got mail, anyone? You've probably kept a nice clean inbox zero at all times. But what about now? How many unread emails do you have right now? If you're like me, you have thousands. The only way I'm gonna get back to inbox zero is by declaring email bankruptcy. No matter how many times I unsubscribe from emails I don't want, they just keep coming in. We actually did a study and asked consumers how many unread emails they have. 39% said that they have over 100 unread emails in their personal inbox. 20% of consumers have over 1,000 unread emails at any given moment. Now let's compare that to texting. How many unread texts do you have right now? Probably like me, zero or close to it. Here again, we surveyed customers, and on average, people have 0.5 unread texts at any given time. So some folks might have a few, but most people have zero. The difference in these figures, unread emails versus unread texts, is staggering. That's why consumers can't and don't prioritize email anymore. In fact, in another recent ZipWeb survey, over half of customers said that they trust texts more than phone calls and emails for important messages. But that won't continue to be the case if the texting medium is overrun with spam, just like what happened with email over the years. That's why we're working so hard to protect not just you, our customers, but the industry as a whole from this unwanted content. Mobile carriers put their trust in ZipWhip to properly manage and monitor the texting ecosystem for spam and fraud and keep it clean. So how do we do it? Two critical components. First, we have specialized technology that analyzes content, links, and sending patterns, as well as accounting for consumer complaints and opt-outs. Second, and very importantly, we have a team of experts in texting fraud and spam prevention. They track bad actors, scams, and help stop them dead in their tracks before they even start sending unwanted messages your way. So we know that people are attempting to send spam and fraud, but here's the good news. They're not getting past us. Through our technology and team of experts, we've blocked over 300 million spam and fraudulent messages from reaching consumers. We're doing this so that your texts continue to be valuable and are not compromised by fraudsters and bad actors. 
We learned our lessons from email, and we're protecting texting from the same fate. But how else do we ensure that the texting medium maintains its place as the high priority medium? The industry needs to innovate. In addition to its immediacy and priority, texting's most powerful feature is ubiquity. SMS is on every mobile device around the entire globe. No matter where you are, you know that you can use your cell phone to text another cell phone. But as you can imagine, updating a form of technology that's so widely distributed across the world is difficult. That's why we've had SMS for the last 20 years and why it's changed very little. It's incredibly complicated and takes a huge level of cooperation between operators around the globe in order to facilitate any change. But the continued expansion of SMS, including into the business world of landline, toll-free, and VoIP numbers, has accelerated the industry to innovate and become future forward. That's why we're finally seeing some headway into significant upgrades in the form of RCS. RCS will deliver a ton of incredibly rich features to our users. I wanted to highlight a few that you're going to be really excited about. The ability to have a read receipt and a typing indicator will allow you to know when you're in an active conversation with your customer. Decision chips will allow you to send a message with a multiple choice list of answers to your customer so they can just tap to respond. And also the ability to share location in large files is going to be incredibly powerful. We actually partnered with the Sacramento Kings to launch an RCS pilot to see what it would really look like in the wild for our ZipWhip customers. In addition to the feature enhancements to the messaging experience, you can see here how the experience will be branded as well. Your business name and logo can be incorporated into the native conversation thread on the phone without your customer having to add any of your details into their address book. That brings me to an especially exciting feature that'll come along with RCS, a nationwide business directory. This is going to be game changing for your business. Think of why you choose to enable texting on your existing business phone number rather than using a new one. That number has been with your company for years, perhaps decades. Your customers have added that number to their contact lists. Your customers already know that that number is trusted and associated with you. It's part of your brand, especially if you use a vanity number. By using your existing business landline, toll-free, or VoIP phone number, you're letting your customers know that they can trust that you are who you say you are and not a bad actor. This business directory will provide the same value. Customers can search for your business, so it'll help your existing customers find you. It will help bring in new customers and additional revenue when they search for a service and your business comes up. You can even verify your business, establishing additional credibility and trust. Your next question is probably, how can I get in on this technology? That's the good news for you. ZipWhip will be among the first business texting platforms to provide RCS, and we're going to make sure it's accessible to everyone. Many industry players are focusing on rolling RCS out to some of the biggest national brands and corporations. But ZipWhip's position is that RCS should be immediately accessible to businesses of all types and sizes, because it's not just the name brands that will benefit from it. We've been ringing the bells for RCS in the industry for years. This means that once RCS hits a critical mass of consumers on their personal cell phones, including many of you, businesses that use ZipWhip will also have RCS capabilities. Why is this important? Consumer preference will change once more. We're at the point where consumers are starting to demand that businesses provide the option to text. But very soon, once RCS fully rolls out, consumers will then demand that businesses not only text but provide richer experiences through RCS. All you iPhone users here today, you love iMessage, right? Read receipts, typing indicators, the ability to share large pictures and video. How annoying is it in a group text thread when everyone except one person has an iPhone? Immediately the thread reverts to basic SMS and you can't use any of iMessage's advanced features. Once your customers start using RCS every day with their family and friends, they're going to get frustrated at businesses who can't provide the same rich experience. Don't be the green bubble. But here's the other good news. You won't need to do a thing to implement RCS. We're adding it into our app on your behalf, so you won't even need to think about it. If your customer has RCS on their mobile device, your RCS functionality will kick in within the ZipWhip app. If your customer doesn't have RCS yet, your messaging will operate as SMS just like today. Now, let's take an early look at how some of these cool features are going to change the way you communicate with your customers. You'll see a typing indicator when your customer is texting you back, and a read receipt when they have read your message. These new tools will help you know when you're in an active conversation versus just exchanging information. 
You'll be able to insert interactive decision chips into the text conversation so that your customer can automatically tap a multiple choice answer back to you with minimal friction. A tap versus a type has shown tremendous increases in response times and engagement. You will no longer have limits on file size and formats. You'll be able to exchange large pictures, videos, and documents like PDFs. There's a reason that texting has withstood the test of time. Other apps have tried to take its place by offering more advanced features than SMS, WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, but texting has withstood. So imagine what'll happen when SMS gets this reboot and not only can offer all the features of these apps, but has the ubiquity of your native texting app. As a business, you need to prioritize where you spend your time, efforts, and money. Investing in texting is the right choice now, and it'll be an even smarter choice as this innovation unfolds. We don't do anything but texting, and we do it incredibly well. We created this industry, literally pioneered the capability for a business to text from their existing landline, VoIP, or toll-free number. We are hyper-focused on making sure that this continues to be a sustainable, trusted, and globally ubiquitous medium. But more than that, we're working with the industry to roll out additional features that are blazing the trail for the customer experience revolution. Don't forget, your customers are only a text away. Well, everybody, that concludes Context 2020. I hope that you've enjoyed connecting with your peers, meeting some of the folks behind the scenes at ZipWhip, and getting more context around how to get the most out of texting for your business. And remember, if you missed any of the sessions, you can go back and watch them on demand for the next six months. We'll also be adding them to our website so you can share them with friends, team members, and colleagues. Thanks again for trusting us to be your texting partner. And thanks for spending your time with us over the last two days. Stay safe, keep texting, and we hope to see you at future ZipWhip events.